Hey guys, it's James, and I'm here to celebrate Canada Day. So being Canadian to me is really special. I was born in Peru and I was adopted um, from my uh, right from birth. I didn't know a lot about Peru. Um, I was about four months um, when my mom came down. My adoption mom uh, came down, stayed with me until I was old enough to go on a plane. We flew back. We went to, I think we lived in Halifax for a bit and then made our way um, kind of across Canada and ended up in the uh, where we're at now, which is kind of the British Columbia area. So being Canadian to me is, I that's all I've known. I've been um, Can Canadian. I've been a Canadian citizen, Canadian citizen ever since I've been like, four months, five months, years old, like I, I was, I was it. And that's, and Canada has always been the most accepting place in the world. I've, um, growing up, um, I knew I was different. Um, I grew up in a very, um, small town with very white dominant schools and everything like that. So I remember when I was a kid in kindergarten, um, some kid came up and, you know, he's like, oh, you're different, and blah, 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 and get push, push me in a sandbox kind of thing. And I remember thinking, okay, cool, I'm different, so I'll do my own thing. I never thought of it as racism. I never thought of it as anything more than just a bully. And it really just let me be me, and I was always me. So being Canadian to me is being accepting with everyone, is being open to everyone. Truly being Canadian is... Um, uh, welcoming and working with everyone. I mean, I love collaborating with people. I love working with uh, friends, family, and trying to build a better, better tomorrow. And um, so, being Canadian to me is really personal because I know I'm not born Canadian, but I'm so proud to be Canadian that to me it's um, it's really special. I would not change being Canadian for anything in the world. Um, even if I go move anywhere else, if I move down to the States or we go back to Peru, I will always be Canadian in my heart. I think it's been fantastic raised uh, in Canada and living in Canada. And uh, for all you people who aren't Canadian, um, you know, it's our 150th um, anniversary of Canada kind of thing. And uh, it's something to, to, you know, to be, um, uh, to, to have some pride in. And um, for us Canadians, you know, we've, uh, Canada has a crazy history. Um, not a lot of people know about it and everything like that. I won't give you a history lesson or anything like that, but check it out. It's, it's pretty cool. So through all the ups and downs that Canada has gone through, and then recently, um, the more and more you become older, Older and you more and more you're aware of what's going on in the country and how it's affecting you as a person and your family and things like that even when you start a family and you you know all these changes in the government and elections and things and they actually impact you it makes you feel more pride on being Canadian and having um, say in what happens in your country I'm so proud that you know uh, Canada's always been open uh, to everything to every race to every kind of people and things like that and um, I've had a blast living here and I I love it. So that's what being Canadian is to me and um, a couple of stories about uh, myself and um, I'd love to know what you guys, uh, if you're Canadian, what makes you uh, proud to be Canadian um, and if you're not, if you're American, I know July 4th is coming up, um, what makes you proud to be American? Actually, what just makes you proud to be where you live and you know, what, what, what really makes you be like, oh yeah, that's, that's where I'm from kind of thing. You know, let me know. I'd love to know. Uh, anywho, thanks you guys for tuning in and uh, that's what being Canadian is to me. Thank you.